it seems that the movement to sue the government over the flood is gaining momentum. Yes. Mm. What do you think is the possibility of the government uh, losing or winning the case? Yeah, first of all, there are two guys leading the campaign against the government. Mm. One of them we discussed last week, mm -hmm. uh, Ajahn Narong Petpasar mm -hmm. of Chulalongkorn yes. University. Mm -hmm. The other guy, um, this name may sound very familiar to you, mm -hmm. Sisu Wan Janya. Yeah, the Eastern Seaboard guy. <laughs> yes, who almost uh, brought the Eastern Seaboard to stand still about two uh, years ago. Yes, right. That's yeah. right. Um, the good news for the government is that these two guys apparently have not working have not been working together yet. Mm -hmm. We but are trying to find out why they are mm -hmm. working separately. But could see, so one is in Rayong. Why is he involved in this flood issue when Rayong is not flooded? <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's trying to act as a middle guy. Ah, for and, the, uh, and yes, for the people who uh, are affected by yeah. government decisions. Uh -huh. uh, uh, basically, both. Most persons have talking about the same thing, mm -hmm. just about the same thing, the, the legal principles behind the legal campaign and the time frame and everything, mm -hmm. the laws to be used. Mm -hmm. Only that they have not appeared together yet. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have not uh, said they will work together as a team. But they are talking about the same principle. Right. right. They say that it's okay for the government to make decisions to mm -hmm. direct the flow of the flood, but mm -hmm. it's not okay for the government to compensate the people mm -hmm. affected with so little money. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. said it would be okay if the government increased the amount of compensation, but yes. they have not seen mm -hmm. any signals of that from the government. I have heard the Prime Minister, Kun Jing Lak, reacting to that story, and she seems to not have any a clear idea as to how the government uh, would respond. She was just say, "We have done our best. We will be patient." You know, she doesn't try to explain the position of the government. Right, and um, the the thing is, the government is th there are two groups of people affected by this flood. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, the people who are affected by the natural flow of the mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. that is no problem. Uh, but there are second group of sufferers. Who have been affected by government decisions, and this Kun Jing Lak has not. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean water being diverted, or right. water being kept somewhere and right. being released or not released? The exactly. big bag thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so the big bags will become an issue. Of course, and the people who live beyond or outside the big bag could still, mm -hmm. uh, uh, this concept can still sue the government. Mm -hmm. And and also we we uh, the government is. Uh, we understand that the government is very concerned about what the agriculture minister said at parliament mm -hmm. uh, a few days ago when he admitted that he ordered the delay of the release of uh, to them, them wait orders. until the annual yes. rice harvest was completed. If these uh, if these two guys win in this campaign and then they say that okay because of that decision. Uh, Mm -hmm. People have been more affected than they should have been, mm -hmm. and if the government lose this, it would be a, a big, big trouble, legal trouble for the government because mm -hmm. um, we are talking about insurance companies mm -hmm. having to compensate a lot of companies in yeah. the industrial estates. The insurance companies can then cite this in its defense against paying insurance. Right, or, or, they just, or they can just claim from the government mm -hmm. after paying the. Um, the company is also. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we should be um, looking out for. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very interesting, the legal side of the flood. We've been talking about the social issues, we're talking about the political interference, political decisions on where the water should flow. Now it is the legal rights of the victims of the flood who are asking the government or taking the government to court. And that I think is going to be Again, unprecedented. This has never happened before. No, not before. That ah. people suing the government for the government's negligence in uh, performing its duty. Initially, uh, it was uh, uh, John Nalong was supposed to be gathering some signatures mm -hmm. today, but mm -hmm. uh, that did not happen. And he said that he wants to wait a few, uh, maybe a couple more months, so that he can collect more evidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sri Suban also said the same thing. He mm -hmm. said that the real action can start maybe in December, in the middle of December. Okay, so we will see uh, whether this particular issue will bring the government all the way to the court.